Hello zoologists of all shapes and sizes, my name is Chance, welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 43rd episode of our Beast series. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the more damage oriented beasts in the 1 8th category. We're looking at the Poisonous Snake. The Poisonous Snake is also found in the basic rule set, so it's kind of found all over the place. This creature is also an incredibly popular choice amongst DMs for early level encounters. I really like the snake in general. Um, it's also a good idea to mix in some non-poisonous snakes in there as well. Much like the giant rat and the diseased giant rat, you can really kind of play them off of each other. But without further ado, let's take a quick look at the stats here. So the poisonous snake is unsurprisingly considered to be a tiny beast that is unaligned. It has an AC of 13 and 2 hit points, calculated by rolling a d4. He has a swim speed of 30 feet and a normal movement speed of about 30 feet as well. I actually really like the AC on the poisonous snake, I think that's pretty good. Taking a look at his stats here, you'll see that he's not very strong. He does however have a plus 3 to dexterity, which is pretty awesome. Outside of that, he's about as dumb as you can get, and yeah, it's just pretty typical stuff from there. Taking a look at his senses, you'll see 10 feet of blind sight, which is pretty good, and a passive perception of 10, which isn't terrible as well. Now, looking at these stats, it's safe to assume he's not very good for really anything, but let's check out his attack action, and that might be enough to change your mind. So the snake can do a bite attack. It is a melee weapon attack, plus 5 to hit, heck yeah. Reaching 5 feet away, can only target one target and deals one piercing damage, which isn't too great. But however, and the target must make a DC 10 constitution saving throw, taking 5 poison damage on a failed save for half as much damage on a successful one. Uh, you can also just roll 2d4. I like this because no matter what, they're taking extra poison damage. No matter what, if you want to be kind of a meaner DM, you can always rule that on three successful attacks, they get the poison condition for a round. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. Ultimately, these are kind of to show your adventures they can mean business. This doesn't seem like a whole lot of damage up front, but you got to bear in mind, odds are your party's not going to be just facing one of these. Uh, typically, a group of snakes is far more common, especially if you stumble upon their nest. So, an action economy plus early level adventures, that attack might actually be enough to wear them down, especially with a plus 5 to hit against a party that probably doesn't have any magical items, probably has at best half plate or chain mail or leather armor, maybe even nothing, depending on how you DM. I really do think these can be deadly. Not as deadly as a couple of the other beasts within that one eighth kind of group, but still deadly enough to make a lasting impression on those new characters and really teach them to respect the jungle. That being said, let me know how you'd use them in your games down beneath in the comments section. Also, be sure to mention any thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns you have regarding the poisonous snake. That being said, I hope you'll have a great day, and as always, happy researching, everyone!